that believe God that say look here we're a winner never mind about the giants my God that we look like grasshoppers to them never mind the giants that standing 12 and 14 and 15 feet tall God said not a man when God said to Joshua not a man he was referring to the giants he was referring to the giants when he said not a man will stand before you there's some of you and God is bringing his people into consecration and one reason why God is bringing his people into consecration for recess is over recess is over the secular world is moving against you the internal revenue is moving on you and this is going to be the thing that's going to cause God's people to get it together this is going to be the thing that's going to cause the church to stop fighting one another and they're going to come together because the, the, the enemy has set his army in a raid against the people of God but I heard him set up on this rock I'll build my church and the very gates of hell shall not prevail against him I'm just wondering must I preach this thing tonight God to my and so he said now Joshua you're getting ready to cross Jordan and when you cross Jordan it's going to be war all the way when you cross that Jordan Jordan means descendant or death and I'm here to tell you if you're gonna go God's way there's some dying you've got to do you've got to die to your will to your desire not my will but thine be done not my way but God's way be done and soon as they got over there the first thing they had to contend with was the walls there's some of you that's listening to me the devil's got walls in your life and look like God I'm not able to overcome these walls and I can't see on the other side of these walls and these walls are hindering me from my destination but I came to tell you these walls must come down you all know the story for time would fail me when the Lord said to Joshua I just want you to march around the walls don't talk just march don't gossip just march don't try to wonder why just march don't try to figure it out just march they marched around once a day and on the seventh day they marched around seven times and the Bible said the walls came tumbling down so look what God did he gave them victory to cross Jordan then he gave them victory over the Jericho walls now where else are you going Joshua we've got to war with the Amaleks we've got to war with the Amaleks and while they were battling all day long the evening shadows began to appear and the moon began to rise over the valley of Ajalon and the sun began to go down into the western hemisphere leaving a glorious display of the western skies but Joshua ran to the top of the hill and spoke to the sun listen folk can you imagine he spoke to the sun he spoke to the sun that don't have no brain spoke to the sun that don't have a memory spoke to the sun bless God that don't have no circulatory system he spoke to the sun and said in the midst of Gideon stand thou still in other words God would have me to tell you this is the day for God's people this is the year of the saints this is the decade for God's people Jericho can't stand against you Jordan can't stand against you Jordan's got to divide Jordan's got to get out of your way the walls of Jericho they can't stand against you not a Jordan not a wall will be able to stand against you man the son stood still and God wrought a great victory him now when you read the scripture careful while they were fighting with the enemy and after Joshua had spoke to the son and told the son to stand still the Bible said that God got into battle now Joshua had been fighting all day and Israel was winning but God got in the battle and God reached back and grabbed a handful of hell God God Almighty and the Bible said he held him at the enemy and more died with hailstones than they that died with the sword you can say what you want God have ordered this battle and I heard him say if I'm for you who can be against you if I'm on your side who can be against you God have ordered this battle well after they got through there were giants they had to contend with and 
Joshua remember what the Lord said not a man would stand before you he had the Gergesites they were giants he had the Canaanites they were giants he had the Jubasites they were giants he had the Hittites they were giants the Amorites they were giants but he remembered what God said not a man I don't care how big he is I don't care how the earth shakes beneath his feet not a man not a demon not a demon now today we don't have giants to contend with but we have demons in the spirit we've got demonic forces to contend with but God would have me to tell his people not a giant not a demon not a devil not a demon I don't care how big he is ugly demon fuzzy demon hairy demon bumpy back demon narrow demon nasty demon unclean demon not a demon can stand before you tonight I want your faith to just take a leap you've let too much stand before you you've let too much stop you you've let too much make you cry you've let too much get you discouraged you've seen too much you've let too much carry you under but God said not a man not a devil not a mountain not a wall not a Jericho not a Red Sea will stand before you shout glory shout glory